what up, y'all? Um, I do have something I want to talk about, and that is the fact that I'm, I'm not upset by it. But, like, I'm super confused about something here. And maybe one of you guys can answer it. I don't know. But this is something I've been confused about and for the longest, longest time. Like, it is super confusing to me. And as soon as I get everybody in here, I will explain everything that's going on. And it does pertain... To, you know, to me being single, so that it does pertain to that, but in a different sense. I mean, and this isn't just, you know, from my area, this is everywhere. What up, Leah? Oh, so I thought y'all, it's kind of a rainy day out, so it's kind of, I want it off with being tired, but what I'm super confused about is, like, I don't know how to say it. It's not that I'm confused about being single. I'm confused about, like, now don't take this the wrong way. This is not aimed at anybody in particular. This is aimed at, like, those that I tried to get with that laughed at me that say they want a real man. This is aimed at those people, not those that, you know, I do respect. Yo, Lance, Tyler, what's good, dude? But this is something I've been confused about for a while now. And this, like I said, this pertains to those that I tried to get with that sit there and laugh. And this is what I'm confused about. You guys sit there and, you know, like, you say that you want a real man that works for a living, that helps take care of his family and stuff like that. And that's admirable. It really is. And then whenever you find somebody like me who does what he loves for a living, like, I do artwork for a living. That's what I do. I make and sell artwork. I'm an artist. And then when y'all find out, find a man that does have a real job, y'all sit there and back out and are like, oh, you don't have a real job and this and that. It's like, dude, somebody like me who isn't rich, yeah, I'm sorry. But if you guys want somebody that's rich, why don't you go to fucking Hollywood and try to get a man out there. Try to get a job doing something out there, like as an actress or something. Like, y'all sit there and laugh when somebody like me works their asses off, who has a real job, who works for a living. Yeah, I might not be making, you know, hundreds of dollars a week or hundreds and thousands of dollars a year or a month or whatever, but you know what? At least I got a job. It might not be the typical nine to five job, but at least it's money in my pocket. At least I have a job. And then when you guys find out what I do for a living, you guys sit there and back out and say that what I do isn't real. Bitch, check the fucking books. What I do is very real. Okay? My artwork is as real as it fucking gets. Just because I work from home to help take care of my family, that don't mean what I do isn't the real job. What I do is a very real job. Okay, maybe if you would stop looking for fucking Romeo and these fucking clubs and all these drunk idiots and open up your fucking eyes, maybe you'd see there's people out there like me who actually are honest, faithful, and loyal, who actually work for a living. Like, you know, I'm sorry I'm not the partying type. I'm sorry I'm not the type to go out to clubs and get drunk or get high or do drugs or do dumb shit. Sorry I'm not like that. But you know what? I'd rather put my job in my family before doing dumb shit that could get me in jail or killed. 
Because let me tell you, these fuck boys are hanging around. All they're going to do is end your ass up in jail or dead in the fucking morgue. Because one of these days, y'all are going to get behind the wheel with this guy. And that dude that you're behind the wheel with is going to either end you up in jail or get you into a car accident that could fucking kill you. And that's all that shit's going to get you. Because all these guys that are out there on the streets saying that they don't care about y'all, they don't give two fucks. You want somebody that actually gives a fuck about you, look for somebody like me. Who, yeah, like I said, I may live at home with my mom, I may take care of my family, but you know what? At least I'm not out doing dumb shit that could get me fucking killed or in jail. You guys want a real man? Look for somebody like me. Stop going out to these fucking boys that are in the damn clubs every fucking Friday, Saturday night, claiming that they're balling out, that they are got all this money when they don't. These dudes that are out there doing that shit, they don't give a fuck about you. All they give a fuck about is getting laid. That's all they give a fuck about. When so, like, And honestly, they make honest people like myself who want a real relationship, somebody who wants to settle down and have a family, who makes a living off of what he loves to do. Those kind of guys make people like myself, like I said, who have a real job, who want to be with somebody and have a life with somebody. Those fuck boys make people like me look bad. And yet, y'all want a real man. Yeah, all you guys do is sit there and chase these guys down. For what? Just because they claim that they got money, don't mean that they got money. And that's the honest to God truth. I don't claim to be rich. I don't claim to have all the fucking money in the world. But what I do claim is very real. Yes, I have a job doing artwork. Yeah, I might make only a couple dollars a day or $30, $40 a day, depending on what people buy. But you know what? At least it's a job. At least it's an honest heart. So like I said, all you girls out there that are chasing after these fuck boys in these clubs, fucking stop it. Look for somebody like me. Get a real man who has a job, who is honest, who is open, who... When they're with you, they are faithful and loyal to you. Do I tell you, I'm the most faithful and loyal person you'll ever fucking meet. You know, when I'm with somebody, I don't cheat on them. I don't fucking sleep around. You want to see my Facebook? Hell, I'll show you my fucking Facebook. I'll show you who I have on my friends list. I'll show you who I talk to. Because 99.9% of the people that I talk to are either friends, family, fans of mine from my music days, fans of my artwork, or people that I try to help out, or customers that want to buy my work. Those are the only people I talk to. Like I said, you want to see my Facebook if we're together? Hey, I'll show you who I talk to. I'll show you my fucking messages if you want. I have nothing to hide. I don't hide anything. When I'm with somebody, I'm open. I'm honest. I tell the truth. And I am honest 100% of the time. I don't believe in hiding shit. And honestly, if you know I'm with somebody, I want them to be able to have friends. I want them to be able to have a good time. That right there is an honest person. That right there is somebody worth having around. But all you fake ass chicks, especially here in Akron, like I said, this is not aimed at those that, you know, are not like that. This is just in general with this generation of people, like in their early 20s and stuff like that. But what's in it? It confuses me. Well, you guys sit there and say you want a real that has a job, who's honest, who's open, 
who is loyal and faithful. And then when you finally find that guy, you blow him off for some asshole at the club who claims to be rich but works nine to five at a fucking gas station making a couple bucks an hour. When over here you got somebody like me who works his truly works his ass off doing what he loves for a living, yet you throw us to the side for what? This fuck boy that's gonna sleep with you for like a week and then drop you for someone else? Like it's it's confusing to me. Like what the fuck is wrong with you? Open up your damn eyes and look the hell around. If you would stop being about the money. And about the trends and about the fame and wanting to be with this guy that's super rich. Maybe you'd finally find somebody out there like me who's honest, who's open and loyal and faithful. You guys sit there and say that you want somebody who's faithful and loyal, yet you don't want to be faithful, loyal, or honest yourself. You'd rather be with this fuck boy over here. Claiming that he's balling out when he ain't doing jack shit with his life except beating his fucking dick and working at fucking Texaco or whatever fucking gas station for two, three bucks an hour. When you got somebody like me who doesn't sleep around, who doesn't do drugs, who doesn't smoke or drink, who works his ass off for his family to try to help provide for his family who works doing what he truly loves to do and is good at it, like, it confuses me. Like, I'm super confused by that. Like I said, maybe if y'all would stop fucking around with these fucking idiots at the clubs 99.9% of the time and open up your damn eyes, you'd say there's people out there like me that are very real who want an honest open, healthy relationship. And you know, honestly, and that's all I do look for. Like, I don't care about looks. And yeah, I'll admit age does play somewhat of a factor, yes. With me being 28 here next month, you know, like if you're 19, 20 and up, hey, that's fine. If you're 38, that's cool. But other than that, you know, I don't judge on appearance. I don't judge by looks. I don't judge by what you do for a job. You can work at fucking McDonald's for two, three cents an hour, and I still wouldn't care. When I'm with somebody, I am with them. I don't care what you do for a job. I mean, as long as you're not at a fucking strip club doing that for a job or out whoring around and sleeping with all these other dudes, and shit like that, and you're not doing dumb shit that can land you in jail or end up or end you up dead. What's the issue? Because believe it or not, I've been through shit myself. I've been mentally and verbally abused. I've been through bad relationships where I've been, you know, cheated on. I've been lied to to my face. Where I've been used. I've been through that. And I can tell you for a fact that that's the worst feeling in the world. I know what it's like firsthand. And I do not want to put anybody through that. I refuse to put anybody through that. Because I know what it's like firsthand to deal with that. Hell, I'm still getting over the mental abuse from my ex Rebecca. Along with the verbal abuse from her from four years ago. And that's another thing that really just not only confuses me, but bugs me. You guys sit there and say that you want an honest man. And yet when you find someone who, yeah, may be broken down and destroyed, maybe scared to be with you a little bit because of what they went through. And instead of being and helping them through that and showing them that you're not going anywhere and that you want to be with them, regardless of what they go through and that you want them to be themselves again, 
you sit there and back out, which is it's sad. Because let me tell you something. No relationship is easy. Whoever's sitting there telling you that relationships are easy is full of fucking shit, and they're lying to your face. The only thing is, on there are more guys out there like me who have been mentally and verbally abused or hurt by their exes in general than there are anyone else. So let me tell you something. People like me who have been mentally and verbally abused by their exes, who have been cheated on, lied to, you know, betrayed, made fun of, we're the ones that are worth having around. Because you know what? Yeah. We may be broken down. We may have mental issues, yes. But you know what? At least we're loyal and faithful. And we're not afraid to show our feelings. We're not afraid to show you that we care. We're not afraid to say, hey, this is me. We're not afraid to sit there and say, hey, this is who I'm with. I love this person. That's the kind of guy you need in your life. Not these fuck boys at the clubs fucking rowdy and wild every five seconds. I want to tell you, all these guys do out there these days are get drunk and do dumb shit at the fucking clubs thinking they're going to get laid. That's all they're looking for is they're looking for the next piece of fucking ass. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about your feelings. All they give up is getting ass, getting laid, and making money. They don't want a real relationship. They want to fuck around like a fucking man whore and do dumb shit all the fucking time. They can end them up in jail or dead thinking that it's cool, thinking that what they're doing is awesome. But in reality, it's fucking dumb and it's stupid. Half the time, it's downright idiotic. Like I said, I may not be rich like that much in a day or in a week doing what I do, but you know what? At least I got a job, a real job. And yeah, I might not smoke or drink or do drugs or anything like that, but you know what? At least I'm meant to put my family, my life, and my career above all else. At least I'm not sitting in a jail cell right now. At least I'm not sitting in a morgue dead and buried right now. And you know what? I'll be damned if I ever go to jail again. I'll be damned if I ever lay my hands on my family members ever again. I ain't going back to jail. I ain't going to be with somebody That's going to get in my fucking head and cause me to hurt my family after blacking out. Do I tell you something? One night in jail was more than enough for me to realize and say, hey, I don't need to be here. So let me tell you something. I saw more shit in that county jail when I went to jail back 12 than most will ever see in their whole lives. I saw a guy get fucking murdered and his body got drugged off the floor. Bloody and battered. And for what? A couple snacks? I saw him wheeled away in a fucking straitjacket because he was that psychotic. The man tried to fucking hang himself and then go after officers and then went nuts. And let me tell you, if you want a man that's going to end up there and do that kind of shit, that's on you. But I'm not about the jail lifestyle. I'm not about the gangster lifestyle. I'm not about going out, getting high, getting drunk, smoking weed, partying. I'm not about that life because that life ends you up in jail. The life I live, the home life, the family life, having a job, 
helping my mom around the house who can't do much because she was hit by a car two years ago, that's a real man. That's the life that I live. I live the smart life, not the dumb life. And all you young punk kids out there need to man the fuck up and realize that when you go out and drunk and drink and drive and do drugs and get high, you're not only risking your life every day doing that, but you're risking the lives of those around you. And you guys probably don't understand how, but allow me to dumb it down for you fucking idiots. When you go out and smoke weed and go to jail, or you get drunk and get behind the wheel, you don't think that that, that, that affects anyone else around you, but in reality it does. It affects your family in a very big way. When you end up in jail, they sit at home bawling their fucking eyes out, wishing that you hadn't done that, wanting their son or their daughter back to the way that they used to be before the drugs, before the drinking, before the smoking or getting high. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't have anything against people that do smoke smoke weed or anything because I do know a lot of people that do, but they do it because it calms them down. It helps them. They smoke it for medical purposes, and that's fine. But for those of you that just do it to be cool because it's what everybody else is doing, you guys are fucked up in the head for doing that. Because those people that are doing that are going to end you up in jail or dead. Because it's going to go from weed to doing other shit beyond that that are worse. And ultimately, all that shit's going to lead you to is a path that's going to end you up in jail or dead in the morgue. And if you guys don't believe me, just wait. Wait till you end up in jail from doing that shit. Then you'll see that I'm not wrong. Exactly. Exactly. And I agree, Rebecca. Like if if you sitting like if you're sitting at home chilling out with your buds or your family or whatever, you know, and you're smoking and not doing anything, just chilling out, relaxing, hey, that's cool. I have no problem with that. I have no problem with that whatsoever. But it's when y'all go out here and do it just because it's what everyone else is doing. And you're doing it to look cool and you think that you're the shit. If anything, you're a loser when you go out and do it for those reasons. When you do it just to be cool, to be a badass, to be a hard ass. Dude, you ain't a fucking hard ass and you're not. You sure as fuck ain't cool and you sure as fuck ain't no badass when you do it. Because when you get high and do all this dumb shit from being high, and trust me, I know y'all, I know a lot of y'all out there do that shit and you go fucking ballistic and do dumb shit. It's when you do it and you start to do real stupid shit that you're crossing a major line. Y'all need to stop that shit. Put down the fucking weed. Put down the drinking. Put down the drugs. Put down that bottle of vodka or whatever the fuck it is you drink. And get a real job. Put your money towards what you want to do with your life. Can I tell you something? I lost my dad's relationship. I lost a relationship with my dad because of drinking and drugs and weed. He disowned me back in July because I told him straight up when I went to visit him back in 2014 because he didn't think what I was doing was real. And I told him the minute that I'm making in music, no matter how big or how small, that I was going to fucking message them and be like, look, I fucking made it. Now what? And what happened four years later? 
I made it. My debut dubstep album, Blackout, is now on Spotify, on iTunes, on Google Play Store, on Amazon, on Napster, along with various other songs that I've done over the years. And what did I do? I called him and told him I made it. And what did he do? When I told him, he decided to disown me. Because instead of being proud of me, he'd rather sit there and fucking smoke and drink and do drugs and throw his whole fucking life away over having a relationship with his son. And ultimately, that's what y'all are doing. You're throwing away your lives. You're throwing away valuable relationships that you're never going to give back. You're burning bridges with those around you. I know firsthand because my dad burnt that bridge with me. And even to this day, it still eats me up. It still kills me knowing that he disowned me. Because he would rather go out riding with his biker friends, who, by the way, I'm very good friends with. I'm very good friends with a lot of his biker friends. I still talk to a lot of them even now. And a lot of them are some of the coolest people in the fucking world. And let me tell you something. Even they're mad at him for disowning me. So before y'all go out and drinking and do drugs and do dumb shit to end you up in jail, think about the relationships that are going to cost you when you go out and do that shit. And for all you ladies out there that are looking for someone honest and shit like that, stop looking in the clubs. Because they're not there. The real men are working like I do every day. Doing what they love to do. Busting their ass for their family. Busting their ass just to make a living. Like I said, y'all might not think that what I do for a living is real, but you know what? That's where you're wrong. Just because I'm not making thousands and thousands of dollars don't mean that my job that I do isn't real. Because my job is as real as it comes. I have fans all over the fucking world that enjoy my artwork, that love what I do, that are constantly telling me that work needs to be printed out and put in galleries. And, you know, they're right. I would love to do that. But in order to do that, I need to make the money to be able to pay these galleries to have my work put out. So, yeah, I'm working on my career as an artist every damn day. And, yeah, y'all don't want to be with somebody who's working their ass off on their career. You'd rather be with somebody that already has everything without having to do anything about it. And that kind of person is fake as fuck. Like, you know, and honestly, and I'll be honest, if I was in your shoes, I'd want to be with somebody who works their ass off a career. I would want to be with somebody who's working hard at what they love to do to make a living out of it, rather than being with somebody who's already got everything without having to work hard for it. Because you know what? That person that works hard pushes me to work just as hard at what I do. So like I said, for all you ladies out there that are at the clubs, you want a real honest man, find somebody like me who does what he can for his family, who works his ass off every day to make a living doing what he loves to do best, who works a real job. Even though it's work from even though it's a work from home type of job. At least it's a job nonetheless. 
And that's for all you fuck boys out there that are getting high and doing dumb shit. Fucking stop. And think about your priorities. Think about your family. Think about your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your aunt, your uncle, your son, your daughter. Think about them before you go out to these clubs next time. And think about getting high and doing drugs or drinking or whatever it is you fucking do. Stop whoring around like a man whore and find an honest woman who actually will treat you right and actually gives a fuck about you. And with that being said, I'm out. Peace.